Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? The International Olympic Committee began its first ever performance enhancing drug testing in 1986. These medicines have been used in sports since the ancient Greek Olympics. The chemicals have the ability to increase stamina, enlarge and bulk up muscle tissue, and provide a range of other unfair benefits in sports. Kamila Valeva, a 15-year-old Russian Olympic Committee figure skater, was allowed to compete after recently testing positive for a banned cardiac medicine prior to arriving at the Beijing Olympics. We talked to former Olympians Jonathan Cheever and Wiley Danger Maple to hear their opinions on the issue. It, it, it is absolutely a problem. Uh, I'm sure in, uh, I know for a fact in some sports, it's more of a problem than others. Uh, and definitely like the, the, the more athletic based sports like bobsled, um, Nordic skiing, those type of things. And, and yeah, so uh, what the USOC does and WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, is they come up with these rules that say like, this is like, what we're going to do for a fair sport. Any edge that anyone can get, they're, they're going to do. Uh, Technology is getting better. It's probably going to be easier to, to cheat. And I mean, like if we're talking way down the line, I'm, you know, like I'm, I'm sure, you know, it, at some point we can have people that are partially bionic. Um, so I, I, I don't know uh, how far out something like that is, but yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it's going it, to, it's going to be more prevalent. And when we see a 15 year old girl doing this in figure skating, that is, is dominating the competition, you know, is she winning because of performance enhancing drugs is, you know, maybe yes, it definitely doesn't hurt. Um, but yeah, I do not see it going anywhere as long as there's a competitive sport Olympics or not. They do test us pretty hard. Like when I was officially a member of the, U.S. ski team and all that stuff. I had to say where I was every day, and we had drug tested all the time. I think that certain kinds of performance enhancing drugs should be allowed eventually. Um, you know, watching football players and stuff like that who are their their sports aren't regulated like ours are as strictly. They can come back from like ACL injuries quicker and get healthier faster but if you know certain things they prove to um you know be healthy enough and safe enough for athletes that they just become a standard that would be nice so we can come back from injury quicker that so we can get stronger faster i mean think about like protein powders and gatorades and all that stuff that's that was a you know that was a drug back when before it was invented right you know thank you for watching hamped up we'll see you after break